You know, Las Vegas was a much different city in 1990. It was about a fourth the size it is now, but growth was on its way. The strip was literally blowing up with the opening of the Mirage and the pending implosions of many strip casinos. But the Rebels, the Rebels, they were the biggest show in town, no doubt about it. There was a bond between the team, the coach, and the community that was deep and real. People that weren't living here in Las Vegas at the time just don't un understand uh, the impact that the basketball program had on the community. It was something that virtually everybody embraced and was a big part of their heart and soul, and they lived and died the losses and the wins. And Unfortunately, there weren't a whole lot of losses at that time. Winning the national championship 30 years ago was the zenith. It brought this town, this community together like nothing before. And the rebels. Oh, by the way, yes, they, they were rebels. It was a great fit for the city, the state, and the community. As for the game itself, it was remarkable for the records it broke. Now, no team has ever scored more than 100 points in a championship game, and the 30-point margin of victory is also a record that still stands. Also, this was the last Final Four ever held in a small arena, 17,000-seat McNichols Arena in Denver. They're all held in Superdomes now. And UNLV is the last school from a small conference, the Big West, to win the national championship. Now, in fact, I, I recall the fans in the arena shouting Big West, Big West, Big West across the arena to the Duke fans from the ACC to make that exact point. Also, I recall now this story. There was about two minutes left in the game. Rebels up by about, about 28 points or so. I turned to Lois Tarkanian, who was clutching her rosary beads, seated just behind the media section. And I said to her, come on, Lois, you're going to be fine with this one. Looks like a win for the Rebels. She clutched the beads even harder and said, Ron, come on. You know with the NCAA, I got to keep praying. <laughs> and who, who could blame her? The margin of victory in the game made it less stressful. I mean, you weren't really worrying about whether we were going to win or not uh, in the second half. It was just a matter of enjoying it. And I know my dad did a lot. Uh, he enjoyed it quite a bit. For about a decade, the Rebels dominated the talk of college basketball. Who can beat the Rebels? Can anybody beat the Rebels would be the chatter back then. And for good reason. Tark had built a dynasty in the desert. And 30 years ago, this week, he finally got the hardware to prove it. Chris?